In this episode, we will introduce the theory of modified Newtonian dynamics. Mount. This theory was created for solving one of the biggest problems in cosmology, namely the problem of dark matter. Let's enjoy it. First of all, we have to mention what is Mount. Mon is a theory which corrects the Newtonian limit of gravity. The problem with the Newtonian limit of gravity can be perceived at the scales of the galaxies. On the figure we can appreciate two different plots. The upper one is what we observe and it corresponds to the behavior of the visible matter when it rotates around the center of the galaxy. The lower plot, on the other hand, is what we should expect from the Newtonian gravity. The vertical axis measures the velocity of rotation of matter, while the horizontal axis measures the distance of the matter with respect to the center of the galaxy. What we mean is that the observations suggest that the galaxies are rotating faster than what they should. The left-hand side galaxy is what we expect from Newton, while the right-hand side is what we perceive. The anomalous galaxy rotation curve is not the only evidence of something strange at the scales of galaxies. The gravitational lenses have also perceived unusual additional bands for the light crossing the galaxies. Such additional curvature effects cannot be explained by only using the visible matter as a source of gravity. This evidence, together with the fact that the galaxies are rotating so fast, faster than what they should in agreement with the observed matter, is what made some scientists to assume the existence of dark matter, some hypothetical matter which only interacts via gravitational interaction. However, the theory of mode or modified Newtonian dynamics is able to explain the observed phenomena of the galaxy rotation curve without using dark matter. The theory suggests that at accelerations lower than certain scales, the Newtonian law must be modified. But how does Mon operate? When the matter rotates around the galaxy, it experiences a centripetal acceleration towards the center of the galaxy. If further we move from the center of the galaxy, the slower the matter should rotate in order to keep the orbit, but the slower rotation means a smaller centripetal acceleration. When the acceleration reaches the Mon scale or lower, the effects of the modified Newtonian dynamics appear, generating then corrections to the Newtonian gravity. Interestingly, almost every galaxy in the universe behaves in agreement with what Mon predicts. There are two interesting facts about the modified Newtonian dynamic acceleration scale. The first one is that the acceleration scale is proportional to the inverse of the cosmological constant scale given by the size of the observable universe. The second interesting fact is that when we translate the acceleration scale to distance scale, what we obtain is the geometric average between the gravitational radius scale and the cosmological constant scale. These curious facts are the key ingredients for generating a full theory of gravity. Even if Mond cannot be a full theory of gravity due to the fact that it corresponds to a weak field approximation, still we should consider Mond as the most serious candidate to be the correct weak field approximation of Einstein gravity. Then, instead of considering Newton as the correct limit for the weak field approximation of the Einstein equations, we should consider Mott as the correct limit. Finally, we must remark that several observational evidences support that modified Newtonian dynamics is correct then we should consider this theory seriously. In summary, Mon is a theory able to predict the behavior of the galaxies. 
it explains the effects of dark matter without including dark matter. The acceleration parameter of MON is connected with the cosmological constant scale. The MON acceleration parameter, when it is considered as a distance, it corresponds to the geometric average between the gravitational radius and the cosmological constant scale. Finally, MON by itself cannot be a full theory of gravity, but still it can be considered as the correct Newtonian limit approximation or, in other words, the correct weak field approximation. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.